Spider, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video art or this video episode, I'm gonna be talking about how to teach the elements of art at home. So we're gonna dive in this episode. I'm gonna give you lots of tips, so let's grab something to write with and something to write on to take some awesome notes and let's get art inspired and make some art. <laughs> understand um, so that way you can scaffold the learning so we want to start off with building some confidence and so that way to for to in order to do that we're going to start off with some of the elements of art that are easier to understand and learn and create compared to some of the more challenging ones plus some of the elements of art such as texture in order to create texture on a two-dimensional surface you really need to understand line and value so therefore, you're going to teach line and value before you teach texture. Otherwise, it might be way, way too hard and you're going to discourage instead of encourage. So we want to make sure that we really build confidence and scaffold the learning. So the way I like to do it is I like to teach line first, then value, then color, then shape, then form, then space, and finally texture. So that's the order I like to teach from, in my opinion, easiest to hardest elements of art to learn and understand. All right, number two is to introduce first the element of art. So you're gonna spend the first day introducing the element of art. You're gonna look at examples of it in art history and um, in in different ways it could might look in like real life or where we can go on discover around the house, see if we can find it um, on things or around or like uh, as an appearance, I like, oh, I can see form, I can notice an object or, oh, I noticed that picture or has value in it, right? It's black and white, wow, look all the different values in it. Oh, I see line on your patterns on your shirt, um, for example. And you might read books about line um, or look at art, that art from art history that it has line or whatever element you're focusing on. All right, now before we continue, my question for you is what questions do you have about teaching the elements of art? I would love to hear them in the comment section below the video and I will personally respond to you. All right, number three, Next is you're going to explore and experiment. So after you've done the talking and, and looking at and you know instruction part, now they get to explore and experiment. And you're gonna have the kids explore and experiment and try out the element of art. So try out making different lines or try out making different values and value scales or value spheres or try out drawing different organic shapes or geometric shapes. And you're just going to have fun and do some more self-directed, play-based learning for the first one, just so they can learn and develop some technical skill before you do any artworks. And then finally, number four, this is your time now to do an artwork inspired by an element of art. So now that they've done the learning, the you know, you've preloaded them with some information, you've taught them explicitly what the element of art is, they've had time to practice and play with it and explore it. Now you're gonna create an artwork inspired by the element of art. Whether it's an artwork inspired by a line, or an artwork inspired by shape or value, now is your time to do an artwork together and have so much fun. So you're gonna teach them and direct them through an artwork. Now, if you're a little bit nervous on actually teaching the art project yourself, I do have our elements of art projects integrated into my Artastic Kids membership. It is my online streaming art membership for kids at home. And you can have one subscription for your entire family to enjoy and access. It means that you get to create art from anywhere at any time so it can work best for your schedule and you have unlimited access to all the art lessons on there. I do have elements of art lessons available on that membership so you can click one of them and play. And there are different levels of difficulty so you can pick the just right version for you. In addition, there are also art lessons for all the holidays and seasons 
for plants and landscapes, for underwater themed, um, things that go, um, trending topics, all kinds of things are included. So there's lots of different artworks to choose from. And if you want me to teach it, you can click and play on a video and I will do the teaching for you. And you can pause and rewind as many times as you want with the unlimited access. So if you want to check out Artastic Kids, you can click or scan the QR code on the screen or click the link into it in the description below the video or Google Artastic Kids to find it. And it will be a great resource for you and your journey in creating art at home together. All right, my friend, that is it for this episode. Your next video to watch is Summer Art Ideas. So you can watch that video by clicking the link above or in the description of the video. And I will see you in that episode. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.